guys, Kat here, and today we have a superset strength only workout. So every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. During those 10 seconds, I'll have a preview in the corner that'll show you exactly what the next movement is. So what superset means is we're gonna have one exercise, then another, and then we'll repeat the two, and then we'll move on to the next set of exercises. So it is quite the burn. We'll start out with a lot of upper body and then move on to lower body. And we'll be alternating between a body weight movement and then movements using weights. Now I'll be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and a pair of 30 pound dumbbells. So make sure you push yourself with weights, go heavy when you can, as long as you can keep perfect form. Rather than that, we are gonna get warmed up. All right. All right guys, let's warm up nice and easy. So arms are gonna be up straight, really reach with those fingertips and then we're gonna go up and over. So warming up those shoulders, really, really reach out there and think about keeping your core strong as well. We're gonna go a few more here. Let's go for three, two, one. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your arm all the way up. When it gets to about center, you're gonna turn your palm facing the other way and bring it all the way down. Up, turn, and all the way down. Again, keeping your core nice and strong, all the way. Wee, hello shoulders. I've been doing this every single day. It's really starting to help that shoulder mobility, which is awesome. You can all use a little bit of that. Let's go one more, and then we'll go to the other side. And you might notice that one side's a little bit tighter than the other. Personally, for me, it is my dominant side that's tighter. So take note of that. Maybe add some extra mobility, flexibility work on that side after we're done kicking butt and our body's all nice and warm. Good. Keep going, nice strong core. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Few circles back. All right, way around. You might feel some crinkle, crackle, crunchies. <laughs> Three, two, one. And feet a little bit wider than hip width. And we're gonna go all the way around. So think about going underneath the bar and then pushing your butt back. Pew. the way, this is our little SpongeBob dance. And let's go the other way, all the way around. Again, you might feel a few crinkle crackles here, hopefully not too many. Let's go one more. And nice job, go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna take that right leg, bring it all the way around and then all the way back. So nice hip mobility, opening up those hips, getting them ready for movements. All the way around, all the way back. Let's go two more. I feel like I'm dancing. Last one, and back. Okay, let's go to the other side. Again, one side might feel a little bit tighter than the other. This one's crinkle, crackling a little bit less than the other one, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> Snap, crackle. Hey. All right, let's go three more on this side. Last two, all the way, and last one. Nice job, guys. All right, so go ahead, standing position. We're gonna walk forward into a plank. Nice, strong core, strong shoulders. From here, really press fingertips, palms to the ground. We're gonna shift our hips up, keeping our hands exactly where they are. And go ahead and bicycle out the feet so we get those calves. Warm those up. Again, really concentrate. Nice, strong hands and shoulders. And then go ahead, shift back. And then keep going from down dog into a plank position. Make sure when you shift back in the plank, you're not dipping that lower back. So you want to keep that core nice and strong. Let's go two more. All the way. Last one. And from here, we're going to take our right foot to the outside of the right hand, open up that chest, and alternate those sides. All the way up, and open, oh yes, wee, wash our arms, great for the hips, great to warm up the body, getting those quads now too, getting the shoulders, chest open, let's go one more on the other side. And from here, meet the feet together and sit back. Whee! Hello! <laughs> All right, or you can get there as however you want to. We're going to have our hands out and then feet out wide. We're going to dip the hips side to side. 
So make sure your feet are out wide enough so you, so both knees can touch the ground wherever you want it. So it's like, give it birth. Okay. <laughs> it's a good cue. Everyone gets it then. Okay, let's step on that left side and we're going to reach over to the left. Nice little stretch for that side body on the left side. Breathe. And let's go ahead, go to the other side. Really, really reach there, breathe. Nice deep breaths. Nice job, and go ahead and come back up. All right, so fingertips facing towards the feet, roll the shoulder blades back and down, so you're puffing out your chest, tuck the chin the chest, we're gonna press up, and then come back down. So a nice little reverse table, stretching out the biceps, also stretching out front of that shoulder and that chest while warming up the body. So squeeze your glutes at the top. All the way up. But making sure you're not hyperextending the spine, so make sure you're not like, <laughs> that just means you don't want to get that exaggerated curve in that back, because that's just gonna, that's just gonna affect that lower back. We don't want that. Let's go one more. And nice job. Okay, so go ahead and flip it around time. We're gonna get the wrists. Wrists are really, really important to warm up. So fingertips facing out. Close the hands are together, the more you're gonna feel this. And you wanna think about going side to side. Yes. Show sure, nice. And go ahead, clasp the hands together, elbows together, a few wrist circles here. This might not be your typical warm up that you're used to, but this is how I love warming up my body. It feels so, so good. And let's go ahead, we're gonna come up onto the knees, take our right leg forward, press into it, and you're gonna go at different angles. So again, getting those hips open, getting those inner and outer thighs, is where you can really check in with your body and see how it's feeling today. And you can like, like this one feels super tight, so I'm just gonna stay in this one for a little bit and add a few pulses. Yeah, that's really nice. And then go ahead and switch. So every day our body is a little bit different. Make sure you listen to it with how it feels today. Does it need a little bit of extra stretching, a little extra love in a certain area? So listen to it. We only get one body, and let's just take care of it. And we're all unique. Yeah, right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's go two more and go ahead wherever you are let's stand back up shake it out a few butt kicks without the jumping strength only baby but if you want to you can go ahead i just know if i add it in people will be like yeah it wasn't supposed to be any cardio <laughs> let's go one more on each side all right go ahead shake it out now we're going to go with some back lunges alternate Open up that chest, squeeze that back then with those arms. I'm excited. We got some real fun moves. Of course, the body weight workout, um, body weight movements, my favorite. Let's go one more each side. And then last one. Okay. Shake it out, a few sun salutations to warm up the body a little bit more. So go ahead, big open arms, big inhale, lean back a little bit. Exhale, swoop down. Inhale, come up halfway flat back. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, bend the knees and jump back or step. Exhale, slowly lower, chaturanga. You can come to the knees for that. Inhale, swoop it up, upward facing dog. Exhale, come down. Inhale, curl the toes, press your body up. Again, you can use your knees. And then let's press them down, dog. Look up at the hands, bend the knees. Jump or step. Up, let's do one more. Big inhale, swoop it up. Lean back slightly, exhale, swoop down. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, bend the knees slightly, jump or step. <laughs> Inhale, slowly lower chaturanga. And go ahead, upward facing dog. Slowly lower, curling the toes, elbows in onto the knees if you need to. Press up into down dog. Look up at those hands, bend the knees slightly, jump or step. 
up, big inhale, exhale, and we are ready. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, 10 seconds. We have tricep push-up to side plank. So you can go ahead and check out that preview. Remember to keep your elbows in at your sides with the tricep push-up. You can also come to the knees for that, okay? So tricep push-up, turn, side plank. It's only one side plank per push-up. Let me get a little bit extra for those triceps. Make sure you're squeezing your core and your glutes when you're doing that tricep push-up. Again, keeping the elbows in. So, squeezing the front and the back of that body is gonna help keep our um, back neutral, our spine neutral. Gonna prevent any pains, all that stuff. So nice to be able to do push-ups again. <laughs> I had a shoulder impingement, so. Woo. But it happened for a reason. Okay, we are on to alternating bicep curls before we go to the last movement we just did. So I'm gonna grab my 30s. And I'm gonna crank them out as much as I can with these because it's alternating. And I know that I can do this. Make sure you're not swinging. Think about squeezing those biceps. Go heavy. I mean it. If you've been using tens for years, it's time to move on. It's time to treat yourself. These last few reps should be Challenging, okay? Oh, oh my, come on. And done. Woo! Oh, yay! New alarms. It's only the second one. Okay, we're gonna go back to that tricep push up. Side plank. Get ready. Okay, let's go. Tricep push up, turn. Hairs in the face. Just watched it. Therefore, it smells good. Yes. Keep it going, guys. Remember not to chicken out that neck. You want to look a little bit ahead of you, keeping the neck neutral with the spine. Don't let your neck lead the movement. I know as you get tired, it might happen, so then you should drop to the knees. And up. Keep it going, guys. Up. We got one, we got room for another, right? And up. Okay, bicep curls. So I'm going to go as far as I can with that heavy weight, and once I start losing form, I'm going to drop it down. Whew. Yay. <laughs> I like to stagger my feet for more stability. Make sure you're squeezing your core. Yep. Fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can do it. You can do it too. You're strong. You're strong and you might not even realize it. Three, two, oh, okay. Yo! <laughs> First two movements. Kind of four. Kick sit to press back. Oh, I love it. Tabletop. When you go to the left, you kick your right leg out, sit down, come back, press back. Turn, back, press back. You want to think about creating the 90 degrees here. 90 degrees, I know, not the most flattering. <laughs> back and press. Make sure you don't collapse in that shoulder. Nice, strong shoulder. Turn, if this is hard for you, that means you might have to work on that hip mobility, okay? Don't neglect mobility work. Fountain of youth, baby. Rest. 
Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two. Ooh, like that press back is awesome for the quads. Okay, we got rows next. So, um, okay. I'm gonna do one arm, bringing my right leg forward, dumbbells in the left hand, row back towards the hip. Squeeze. And back. So, we're not only getting that left lat, um, but we're also getting whew, that stabilizing leg in front. Make sure your neck is neutral and make sure that you're in 90 degrees, front leg, back is flat. Oh, your girl's hair is getting so long. <laughs> it's getting tied up. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so kick sit. Once again, if you couldn't get it last time, remember this is a video. Just rewind it, learn a new movement, teach yourself something new. Okay, until you get the movement down, take it slow. So much of the time in life, we are just breezing through, going so fast, wanting instant results, wanting to learn something right away. But most of the time, we need to allow ourselves to slow down and learn. Whew. Keep going, guys. Ooh, that quad. <laughs> Oh, my Lanza. <laughs> All the way back. Okay. I still feel it a little bit on this side. So I take the movement really slow. That way everything's in alignment and I'm not causing any pain on that side. Okay. Let's go. Some of you are like, it's not supposed to be cardio. <laughs> Woo. Keep going. Up. And row. Back is flat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got a real fun one next. Yeah. Keep that breath going. Today is challenging. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Ah, okay. Break, dancing, kick through. So this is kind of like half of the movement that we did in the warm up where we bring our right foot to the outside of our right hand. So plank, step, and then we kick our other leg through. Stabilize. Back and back. Once again, you can't get this down right away. Okay, slow it down. The left leg is kicking through right here. Kick, back, and back. This is awesome for the shoulders and mobility, quads, abs. Learning to control our own body weight is so important. We don't want to be just lifting weights. Now we get all the stabilizing muscles and stuff. Whew! <laughs> when we do those uh, body weight movements. All right, reverse curls, palms are facing down. I'm grabbing my 15s. So, I'm back. Okay, so keep your core strong. I'm back. Up. You can do one at a time. Make sure your elbows are in like a dinosaur. <laughs> so you're gonna feel this top of the forearm as well as biceps. So that's how they're different from regular curls, getting those the top of the forearm. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm shiny. Ugh, okay. So, next up, I can't see the clock. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the break dancing kick throughs. Okay, don't forget to hydrate. <laughs> Why we rolled 
the wrist in the beginning. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. And then if your wrists are feeling it, go ahead. A few circles here. And then we're going to go with the other side. Okay. For that lunge and twist. Stabilizing this time. Other leg. Hopefully you remember which leg that you did last time. Okay. Doing so good, guys. Keep your breath going. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> hey, I don't want to burp at the same time. Whoopsies. There you go. Remember, if you get all wobbly, take a breath, reset, no big deal. Yay. And sink it. Oh, baby. Three, two, one. Oh, this one's fun. Okay. <laughs> Lay on your side. Remember which side you're on. Okay. Okay. Lift. Kick. Back and down. Lift. Kick. And down. Whew. If this is really hard, you can use your other hand in front to help stabilize yourself. If the kick out is too much, just take it out. You can always just press up because you'll feel it on that bottom hip. That outer hip. Woo. Keep it going. Anyone else really shiny? Dude, it's freaking October 3rd. Quote Mean Girls. And <laughs> it's like 75. It's kind of nice. <laughs> 10 seconds. Up. Yay. Oh, goodness. Remember what side you're on. Up. Okay. Whichever side that you're laying on right now, I want you to remember. Okay? So, I laid on my right side. Therefore, I'm going to take one dumbbell. I'm going to do a side lunge to the right. And then I'm going to stabilize on my right leg and lunge back. Okay? So that way we're getting that same side the whole time. I know it might be like your mind's like, what? I switched which hand was holding the dumbbell just because this is more comfortable. Hi. Step. Push that butt back. Keep your chest up. Back is flat. Step. Yeah, that right side really feels it. And then we're going to repeat the last two movements. Breathe. Okay. Step five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so we have that other side now. I'm gonna lay on my left side. Oh, dude, water tastes so freaking good. Okay, okay, and lift, and back, and kick. Keep going, guys. Make sure you're hydrating. Doesn't make you tougher if you don't drink water during a workout. <laughs> Take what you need. Oh. Um, this might be a little bit more challenging this time around just because your other side is already sore. So just know what you <laughs> And up. Kick back. Down. Keep it flying, guys. Huh? Oh my goodness. Three, two, 
and done. Okay. Blech. Down dog to spider push up. <laughs> I'm gonna do a tricep spider push up. You do you who just flows better with that down dog that we did in the warm up. So down dog, knee comes to the outside, push up. Down dog, other side, and push up. If that's too much, you can just do down dog, knee in, or down dog, tricep push up on your knees if you want to. Oh. Whew. Definitely a weakness there since my injury. And that's okay. I'm not beating myself up about it. Being kind of my body. Just trying my best. I'm still strong. Stay by the bell, even though we have to do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna grab um, 15s. We got alternating flies. Make sure you keep your back flat. And back. Face this way so you can see it. So we're getting those rear delts, back of the shoulder and rhomboids. Make sure you have a slight bend in the elbow. And you don't bring it up like a cross, but rather a little bit in back of that. Make sure, again, back is flat. If you um, are feeling it in your lower back, what I want you to do is reset, shake it out, squeeze your core, hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, and you'll be back at it. Uh, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. So we're gonna go right to the, that down dog again. Okay, we're almost done, guys, so stick with me. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Press back, forward, stable shoulders. I'm gonna really concentrate on pressing my palms and fingertips in the ground. That helps me a lot. <sighs> Going, guys. I know it's hard. You know what else is hard? Remain the same. So let's go. <laughs> I just felt like a video game character there. <laughs> when the main character's struggling, and then there's that one guy that's like, you know what? Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Okay, flies. Whew. Okay. And back. Remember, have a nice neutral neck as well. We're not looking down at our feet. We're looking a little bit ahead of us. Oh, gosh. Make sure your traps are relaxed, too. Because if they're tensed up and we're adding a strength movement, they're going to get even more tense. Twenty seconds. And we have <laughs> an arm move. Thank goodness. Up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. If you guys aren't feeling it, you are not using heavy enough weights. <laughs> Let me tell you that. So four pangies. There might be bad parts. Sorry. And then small crunches. So. One, two, three, four, small crunch. One, two, three, four. So the penguins are nice because they get the obliques. So those sag ab muscles, make sure you reach for the inner part of that foot, not the outer. Because that really makes you tap farther. And then that small crunch, which I love doing, gets that top, the top of the abs. Oh. Okay, one, two, three, four, yes, cat, you got it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. And up, one, two, three, four, okay. Okay, 
so we got Renegade Rose. So I'm going to grab my 30s because I know I can. We're going to come into a plank for a kid butt. Okay. Remember to keep your hips as straight as possible when you're doing these. So if you need to widen out your feet for more stability, I'd rather have you do that than turning your hips constantly. Back towards the hip. Keep your core strong. This is just as much a core move as it is back. Keep going. <laughs> 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, my core. I love it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so we already know the movements. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Get me out of here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm having fun. Okay. Pengi time! One of my favorite things to do is when Justin has shoes with laces that I tie them together. <laughs> so weird. Uh, there was one time, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this probably in my stories. He got a new like tablet thing, he was super stoked about it. And I painted his entire toenails on one side without him noticing. And I filmed his reaction. So funny. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Uh, some of you are like, that's not fun, that's annoying. Well, you know what? You know what? I think it's funny. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, last one, guys. Last one. Oh, oh my lands, huh? <laughs> This was great. I, I really enjoyed this, so I hope you guys did too. Okay, then we're going to um, stretch after this. And then after stretching, do a mini guided meditation to strengthen our minds after we strengthened our bodies, which is so important. So I hope you're open-minded to trying something new if you haven't done that with me yet. Once you start being always a student in life, man, it's so much more fulfilling. Oh, you learn so much. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, and done. Done! All right, so we are gonna stretch and then, um, if you do need to leave, please do like the video before you go and comment down below. Both of those things help out my video so much because YouTube boosts it up in the algorithm, which helps me to reach other people. So thank you so, so much. All right, let's stretch. All right, guys, let's come down the ground next to this spider. Hey, yo, you're going the wrong way. Okay, so go ahead and lay down on that back. And let's bring our right knee in that chest and pull. Really concentrate on that breath. If this is too much, you can always bring your left knee in like this. But really take those deep breaths. And try not to tense up the traps in the shoulders when you do this move, because it's really easy to clench them up. So just relax. Now we're gonna take our left hand to the left hip. And then the right hand is going to bring that right knee out to the side. So I'm trying to keep my left hip on the ground as much as possible with the left hand. And this really allows me to get a nice inner thigh stretch. Now let's go ahead and we're going to cross it over that body. Extending the right arm to the right and looking over that right shoulder. Let's bring it back to center and we're going to switch sides. So let's bring that left knee in there this time. Pull and breathe. Nice deep breaths. Again, relaxing those shoulder blades, those shoulders, those traps. 
And then take that left hand, so the left knee, right hand to the right hip, and pull apart. Go ahead and right across it over that body. Left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. And go ahead and bring it back to center and down. From here, we're going to roll over onto our tummies. Whee! Hello. <laughs> Hands on the chest, elbows in. Press yourself up a little bit, not, not all the way. Mini cobra. Just no babies. Make sure your traps again aren't like meow. And then slowly come down. Press up onto the knees. Ooh, tabletop position. A few side to sides here. Look behind you. Get those hips. Nice spine twist. Alright. Let's walk our hands forward onto the fingertips and then slowly come down. Bringing that chest down. See what you feel in the shoulders, armpit area. And then go ahead, slowly walk it back. Big toes together, knees out wide, sitting back. Modified child's pose, feel free to add some side to side movement here. Another option, walking hands forward. Relaxing down. Make sure you're not squeezing those legs. I found myself squeezing mine together because it was uncomfortable, so just breathe into that. And then go ahead and walk it up. And then bring those knees together. Oh, that's all I got. All right, from here, I don't want to finish that. I don't want to finish. Okay, right leg forward, press into it so we get that left hip flexor. Breathe. Then go ahead, let's go to the other side. Press into it and breathe. Can I smile a little bit? Sometimes in my workouts, if I'm feeling like not great, I'll just smile <laughs> and it helps a lot. We're too serious in life. We don't need to be that serious. And curl the toes. Go ahead and bring it up. Slight bend in those knees. And grab opposite side elbows. And we're going to move side to side. Releasing that lower back. But also getting those hamstrings and those calves. That's best for you, go for it. I'm gonna stay here. I feel pretty good, pretty good here, pretty Gucci. That's what the kids say, right? Okay, hands on the knees. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. Let's go ahead, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Big inhale through that nose. You can close your eyes if you want to. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. 
So during this, keep taking those big breaths because a lot of the time, this might be the only time that you find yourself taking deep, meaningful breaths, very present breaths. We don't wanna have those shallow breaths all day. It really helps us to relax our entire body. So go ahead, still keep on breathing those deep breaths. Relaxing those shoulders, really doing a little body scan right now. Is there anything clenched up right now? Is it your teeth, your eyes, jaw, are your hands squeezing your knees? Try to relax them. You can have your hands open, facing up if you want with me. Are your knees and legs squeezing together? Try to breathe into those spaces. And remember that this is your wonderful home. I want to touch on a little thing that we talked about in the actual workout. And that's thinking about a time that really made yourself proud or when you think about it, it just makes you so happy to relive that moment. Did you win something? Did you meet someone? Did you pass a test? Did you learn a new skill? Did you just complete this workout? Or did you just wake up today and brush your teeth? We're all in different areas in our life and all of our victories are very different, and that's so wonderful. So I really want you to think about that time that makes you so happy. And take those deep breaths. And then think about that moment. This may be like an aura around you of lights, rainbows, whatever it is, flowers surrounding you. And always remember that moment is with you. So if you ever find yourself reliving a moment that just doesn't serve you and that makes you feel unhappy, guilts you, we can't stop our thoughts, but we can replace them and we can remember these good moments. So just remember that this moment, that moment that you thought of, is always with you, so you can always bring it back to the forefront of your mind. That is what you want to concentrate on. So whatever we concentrate on, we give energy to. And if we keep giving energy to those negative moments, they grow. But if we keep giving energy to those positive moments, those grow too, and more of them come into our lives. And you become so much more happy and surrounded by that light, those rainbows, that those flowers, that aura around us, and that becomes bigger. So it's up to you what you want to surround yourself with, and always remember that you have that power with you. So go ahead, let's take three deep breaths together, really embodying that moment, that happy time. Big inhale. Big inhale. Exhale. One more big inhale. Exhale. And go ahead, slowly wiggle your hands, fingers, toes. Maybe do a little dance and slowly open those eyes. Great job today, you guys. I'm going to go up to the camera. Hopefully you enjoyed that nice mini meditation. All right?
We did it, you guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome super set workout for the day. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Please do like the video before we go and comment because both of those things really help out my video and it helps to reach more people and all that jazz. So even if it's just a watermelon emoji, I appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, if you want to support my channel, there is a link in my description with purple hearts next to it. It says support my channel. Anything is anything and everything is greatly appreciated and it really helps me out too. So that way I can keep creating for you guys rather than to get some kind of other job out there. I don't know, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me know what you guys want for new workouts I'm thinking about doing a two-week challenge so let me know if that sounds like an interesting thing to do with me yeah um, and don't forget to subscribe I always forget that don't forget to subscribe click that button uh, that way we can work out more together so you can have more awkward moments like this with me together wonderful all right guys I will see you soon have an amazing rest of the day remember that wonderful wonderful moment keep replaying it in your head and you choose how you want to perceive the world and how you want to live your life and all that jazz. So, see you soon. Roar.